Hi everybody. Um, I hope you all had, whoops, sorry. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. Um, I know I did and I wanted to share a couple of things um, that I got for Christmas this year. Um, I also wanted to share a couple of things that I got from Simon Says Stamp. Um, I told you in my last video that I was waiting on an order from them so I wanted to share that stuff with you. So go ahead and share that real quick. Um, so first of all I got a couple paper pads. I got this My Mind's Eye Love Me paper pad and I'm sure you've all seen this. Super, super, super cute for Valentine's Day. And then I also got the Echo Park Yours Truly. And I wasn't quite sure about this one um, because it's kind of vintagey, but I think out of all the patterns, this is the only one that I'm not super fond of, and it is, you know, very vintagey and that's not really my style, but I do like the back side, which is this um, pink and cream um, plaid. So I'll still use the page. But this is super cute paper. I love that one. This is my favorite. And they always do that. They always put my two favorite patterns on the same paper, so I always have to pick and choose which one I want to use. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. I like it. So got those. And then um, I also got this Hero Art stamp. It's called Magical Background. And I've seen a ton of people use this and it's super cute for uh, like water, like whimsical water or sky or just a cool funky background. Um, I think it would be cute with fairy images and lots of fun things. And then I also got this stamp set from Penny Black, and it's called Every Which Way. And it's super, super cute. It's got some more of those hedgehogs that I um, I showed you the other stamp that I got with um, the kissing hedgehogs with their little heart balloons. Um, this one has a little puppy with a little heart balloon, two little hedgehogs kissing, this little mouse with her little hearts. Um, and it says, I will love you always, always. This cute little bee. I love you. A little kitty cat inside an envelope. I love this little hedgehog blowing heart balloons, or bubbles. And then these are probably my favorite um, little hedgehogs carrying hearts. I just love them. They're so cute. And there's a little card um, example here on the back. It's so stinking cute. I love it. So... Um, I'll definitely be making some cards for Valentine's Day with those. And then for Christmas, I um, I already told you, I made a big order with Paper Tray Ink. And I haven't played around with the stuff a whole lot, but I do have some questions for you, for those of you who have had Paper Tray Ink dyes and things like that. So um, really quick, I'm going to go through kind of more of the supplies. Um, and then I'll get to kind of more of the fun stuff. So, um, I made an order a while back for for their uh, white Stamper Select cardstock to try with my Prismacolors because I had heard that some people really loved it and different things. So I wanted to try it, and I really like it. Um, it's okay for Prismacoloring. Um, I um, still prefer the CC Designs Copic quality cardstock for my prism or yeah for my prismas but it is nice quality paper and I really love how thick it is so I really I used it a lot for card bases so I went ahead and got some more um, in a bunch of different colors so let me ugh, I seriously got a ton <laughs> um, so I got aqua mist which is this really pretty light blue I opened that one already <laughs> um, I got Pure Poppy, which is a red. I got Hibiscus Burst, and I really was not expecting this to be such a bright color. This is like a really bright bubblegum pink color. Um, and I'm thinking what I was wanting was the other color called Melonberry, I think, something like that. But it's still pretty, and it's coming. Valentine's Day is coming up, so I might still use it for that. But it's just super, super bright. <laughs> um, I got True Black. 
I got Smoky Shadow, which is a really dark gray. I'm really excited about that one. Um, let's see here. I got Simply Chartreuse, which is this really pretty green. Fine Linen, which is a nice kind of tan color. Um, Summer Sunrise, which is a really pretty yellow. The colors aren't showing up the greatest on this in this lighting. I have really bad lighting right now. Um, Enchanted Evening, a really pretty navy blue. Hawaiian Shores, which is a really pretty teal color. And then I got some of their dark chocolate. All of the colors that I've shown you over here, I just got 12 sheets of each. And those are only $3 for 12 sheets. Um, and then the dark chocolate, I went ahead and got 24 sheets, and that's $5. And then, whoops, there goes my camera. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Um, let's see, I got 24 sheets of their craft cardstock, which is definitely a lot lighter than what I'm, than the cheap <laughs> craft cardstock. I can't even open it right now, but it's definitely lighter and I really like that about it. And then, um, I also got 40 sheets of their white cardstock, so I can use this for coloring but I really like it for card bases. And this comes with 40 sheets for six bucks. So that's a really, really great deal for cardstock. I've tried the Recollections brand at um, Joann's when, when my Joann's opened a couple months ago and I do not like it at all for card bases. Um, it's okay for layering just because, you know, you don't really need bulky um, papers for that. But I really, really, really like the quality of Paper Tray Inks cardstock. So I got all those colors, fun, fun stuff. And then I also got some of their felt. Um, I got the Hibiscus Burst, again, which is way too bright, but that's okay. Um, I got, what color is this? It doesn't even say. I think it's like Harvest Gold or something. It was the only yellow that they had, but it's really pretty. Um, Pure Poppy, Hawaiian Shores. Simply Chartreuse, and the Smoky Shadow. And I just got a couple of these colors. That These were the ones that I thought I would use the most, other than this one. <laughs> um, and I really like this felt because it's 100% wool felt. So it's really, really great quality. Um, I have tried some of like the Joann's brand, and I don't like it quite as much. Um, just the feel of it. It just feels nicer, so... Um, I definitely like this stuff, and now I've got a little stash. I think it's cute to have little felt flowers or felt embellishments on your cards sometimes, just for different texture and and warm fuzziness. <laughs> so, um, I got those. And then, let's see here. Um, I, I already told you I got the um, Score Buddy. This is ac the actual size of it. So you can see, I've got my Martha Stewart score button, scoreboard right here next to me. So this is that and then you can see the size. I guess it's a little bigger than a quarter of the size but it's really nice and compact so I can just kind of have it on my desk and just pull it out whenever I need to score. And that's this is an important thing to have or some type of scoring tool when you have thicker cardstock because when you're folding a card if you don't score it first when it's thicker cardstock like that um, you'll get cracking on the um, folded edge and it just totally ruins the look of it. So it's really important to score your cards if you have a really great, good quality card stock um, so that you can avoid that cracking um, of the paper. So there's that. And then um, I got some buttons. I got their holiday mix. And I love that there's like random types of buttons in here. They're not just all plain. There's a little flower one. Um, just some really, really cute buttons. And then I got their spring mix also because this one, the only pink they had was this 
dark pink and so I wanted some brighter light. you know spring is coming up and so I like to have lighter colors also so I got those and then I got some stamps uh, the first one I got was this one it's called dot spot and you can kind of see there in the background what the pattern is like and I just thought it was really cool and funky and it would make cute backgrounds for cards and stuff so really cute and these are already there they come with a CD case so that works really well with the way that I store my stamps already um, and then I got a bunch of their little five dollar stamp sets so this one is from their boy basics line it's called uh, skater dude and it's got all these um, the stamps themselves are bigger than this but I just want to show you the images um, all these little skateboards there's wheels here and then it says celebrate your day a in a flip kick way um, different things like that you guys know I have like 13 nephews and then I know as my kids get older and they get into school and get friends you know I'm always gonna need boy cards going to birthday parties and stuff so I got that and then I got the coordinating die which is right here so you just stamp it and die it die cut it out and you're good to go so there's that um, I also got the uh, boy basics rock on stamp set um, has the guitar it says you're my hero rock on you rock happy birthday um, lots of cute stuff there and then I also got the coordinating guitar die so cute I love that um, this one I love uh, it's called game on and it's got like the little controllers it's even got the Wii controller which we actually just bought our boys um, a black Wii for Christmas so they've been playing with that today um, but there's like little sayings like bring on your best game and you will always succeed wishing you an epic year happy birthday to an amazing kid um, this one says take it to the next level this one says have fun and play hard and then HBTU so really really great this one doesn't have a die to go with it but I love it so um, and then the last stamp set I got was this one and it's just what's it called it's called think big favorites number one and I got it because I the sentiments that I have for cards and stuff are all pretty small so I thought these ones would be nice to have just a simple card with a big like sentiment on the front and I'm always needing thank you cards and birthday cards so I thought you know I could make a quick card with these so I got that and then the last thing I got was a bunch of dies, and I played around with some of them a little bit, and I'm having issues. So um, for any of you who have um, the dies that I'm going to show you here in a minute that I'm having problems with, please let me know how to fix this problem, because I'm really bummed, because I had so many projects that I wanted to do with these particular dies, and they're not working for me. So I'll go ahead and show you the ones that are working <laughs> for me. Um, really quick so first of all I got this um, I don't know the exact name of it but it's just like a little note card and what's cool I'll show you the actual die here I wanted to show this to you is it, it does a little perforation right there and then it's got the little notebook edge so there's a the little perforation this is just cheap recollections paper but I just wanted to die cut a couple of these and show them to you um, I got this little picket fence die I thought this would be really cute for some Easter and springy cards so I got that and it would be cute to stamp my wood grain stamp on it and really make it wood grainy um, I got this uh, I think it's called seeing stars die there is a stamp set that goes with this but I didn't get it um, but I thought this would be great to go with the Rockstar, um, actually any of those. Um, and then also layouts. I always need, like I said, boy cards. So stars go perfectly with that. And baby cards too. Um, I also got this little egg die because Easter's coming up. And I thought it'd be cute to have some little felt eggs on a card or something like that. So got that. Um, I got this 
I think it's called Heart Prints Die because there's another stamp set that goes with this. But there's these three little hearts. Super, super cute. I got the Clouds 1 and 2 dies. These are so cute. I love how um, fluffy and just cute they are. I love this little tiny one. Super cute. Um, I got this one, and I can't remember exactly. This is, I think it's called uh, Build a Bloom or Beautiful Bloom. Maybe it's the Beautiful Blooms set. But I really, really like these flowers. They're very kind of hippie-like to me um, or very cutesy, you know. So um, definitely like those. And then this one is also a Beautiful Blooms. I think this one is number three, and this one is number one, if I'm not mistaken, in the Beautiful Blooms 2 collection. And I really like these because I really like the bracket edges on these petals. And these two dies actually go with one stamp set, but again, I didn't get the stamp set. It's basically just the same shape, but polka dot. So I figured I could probably just die cut it with polka dot paper or something like that um, but yeah I got those mostly to put on you know to embellish my cards with and stuff because I feel like it's a lot easier to make your own embellishments with dies or punches or things like that rather than buying all of the embellishments in a collection it's just cheaper and I don't know <laughs> I just like it better so um, and then I'll show you these are the two dies that I'm going to show you next are the ones that I'm having issues with. So the first one is the doily details. This comes with three different dies. And I did get two of these to work. Okay, so here's one of them. And they're really, really pretty. I really like them. And then there's this one. Super cute. How cute would that be tucked behind an image on a card, you know? And then there's this one that... I was able to get part of these little things out, but the rest of them I just was fighting so much with them. Like, the die doesn't want to cut all the way through the paper. And, um, like you can see here, there's some spaces here where it didn't even cut all the way through. And this is cheap recollections paper, it's very thin. And I don't understand why it's not cutting through the paper. I don't have problems with my spellbinders or anything else, so I don't think it's my plates. Um, and it doesn't look like the dies are worn down or used or anything. So I just don't know if they're not sharp enough or what's going on with that. So if you know how to like sharpen dies, I've tried um, cutting foil with them because I, I, I heard somewhere that you could do that um, with your spellbinders. So I tried that and it still didn't even cut through the foil. So, I'm not sure if the dies themselves are faulty or if I'm doing something wrong or if I can fix it. I really hope I can because I don't want to <laughs> send them back. Um, the next one is this one, and I was so, so excited about this one. This is called, um, I think it's the Build a Blooms one. I'm not positive, but it's so cute, and I really, really, really wanted to make. A flower to show you guys how this thing layers up because it's adorable but right here like kind of in the middle of the die where the flowers are close to each other it won't cut you can see there like I can pop out some of these but they're closer to the middle of the flower it's not cutting and then here like they're not cutting at all they're like, yeah, <laughs> it, it will not come off without just ripping the page apart. So if any of you are, you know, really familiar with paper tray ink um, dies and know, you know, maybe it's a faulty die or something, or just any help would really, I would really appreciate it because I really, really, really want to use these. I had a project in mind. Um, that I wanted to get done really soon using these dies, both of these, and I'm not able to use them how I'm how I should be able to. I haven't tried any of these other dies yet, other than the um, this one, and this one did fine. I didn't have a problem with it, 
but I haven't tried the rest of these yet, but these ones are so anyways I've blabbled enough I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my stuff and again if anyone knows what's going on with my dyes or, or a way to fix them or sharpen them or something um, I've tried sticking like a shim in there because thinking maybe it needed more pressure and it won't go through my machine I would break my cuddle bug if I if I let it go all the way through it wouldn't even go a quarter of the way through so I don't want to break my machine by doing that. So I have tried that, but please help me because <laughs> I really want to use these dies. Um, but uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and I hope you all enjoyed seeing my haul. I'm excited to use all of these things in um, some future projects really, really soon. I'll probably be back pretty soon with um, some Valentine's Day cards and different things like that. So. Um, for just a real quick update on my surgery, it went well. I'm uh, feeling better and better every day. Still a little bit sore here and there, and I got to go back next Friday um, to have them remove all my bandages and whatnot. But other than that, I'm doing great, better and better every day. I'm not on pain pills anymore. I just take ibuprofen as needed, and I'm doing much, much better. So I want to thank all of you for your sweet comments and your prayers and thoughts that you sent my way during that time. Um, <laughs> I don't remember a thing, so um, it, it definitely was an experience to be put out. It's kind of funny. Um, but uh, anyways, so thank you all for that. And again, have a Merry Christmas, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.